The holiday season is here, and for many of those displaced by the devastating wildfires on Maui, uh, the most festive time of the year feels obviously different. But in the spirit of giving, there is help coming from across the world to provide some cheer while people adjust to their new normal. Our Becky Worley has the latest in our network-wide reporting initiative, Maui 808. of time isn't always about months or days. Sometimes it's about milestones. If you are enjoying the evening, make some noise. For six-year-old Miles Verastro and his mom Sarah, it's their first Christmas since they lost their school, their home, and their town, Lahaina. Here we are. Home sweet home. Oh. There's your Rudolph. We first met the pair days after the devastating Maui wildfires. They've been living in this hotel, the Honua Kai, ever since. You know, Santa is really magical and smart, and he's going to know exactly where you are on Christmas. You don't have to worry about that. What do you remember from last Christmas? I remember having a tree. This year, there will be no tree but they are mindful of the gifts they have received. One, two, three. Lahaina residents displaced by the fire have received kokua, the Hawaiian word for help. Help that started as clothing and supplies donated from all over Hawaii. It's just this outpouring of support from our community. These clothes that I'm wearing today, are, they're donated. This clubhouse with my happy napper and then this is a tape of floating. Sarah and Miles also received money from the People's Fund, started by Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne The Rock Johnson, which has so far dispersed over $30 million to thousands of residents. They're giving $1,200 a month. For us, that's our rebuild. And direct payments have come from the United Way and Maui Economic Opportunity, nonprofits funded in part by the Hawaii Community Foundation, the largest private recipient of donations, with a new donation of $5 million this week from philanthropist Mackenzie Scott, they say their total, a whopping $163 million. Close to, um, I'd say a little over 95% of those, fu those funds came from people around the world. The foundation has only used about $35 million worth of the funds so far. That money going to fund grants to nonprofits providing direct financial assistance, shelter, grief counseling, food, and more. Mike Akane, the president and CEO of the foundation, says that's intentional. We know that federal funding and state funding will start to dry up. Government dollars have a shelf life. Kane says the plan has always been to work in phases. The fund is now entering the recovery and rebuilding phases. We have about $125 million remaining in the fund that will be deployed over the next three to five years in a recovery and stabilization mode. Now we're in, in, this, in probably the most difficult period of the disaster where we want to stabilize people's lives in a way where they can thrive for the next two to three, maybe even four years as their community gets, gets re-envisioned. I like it. But not every family impacted by the fires has been able to access the Kokua. What song is that? You kind of fell through the cracks, right? Yeah, yeah. For Nicole Ellison and her mom, Monica, finances are tight. I wish we could postpone Christmas just for a little while, you know? It just makes me sad. Though they were longtime Lahaina residents, they were in transitional housing at the Kahaleakeola Homeless Shelter, waiting for their new rental in Lahaina to open up when the fire hit. Keep your heads down. They survived the terror of the smoke and flames that day, but the homeless shelter and everything the family had there were destroyed. Since then... Me and my family have moved seven times. Seven times? In uh, the past three and a half months. 
Because Nicole and her family were living in transition in that homeless shelter, there's an address discrepancy in their IDs. We need to go to a different place. And getting approved for many of these grants, a bureaucratic nightmare. There have been direct payments made to mm -hmm. victims of the fires. Mm -hmm. Have you received any of those or many of those? Mm -mm. I've been denied for a lot of assistance. Thankfully, Nicole has finally found housing. A year's lease? A year lease. How does that feel? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And support from Project Vision, a Hawaii nonprofit. And so they will be paying for our rent for the next six months to a year. Wow, that's yeah. big. Yeah. Two fresh toothpaste and two plushies. But help is not just about money. Linda Higgins, an ICU nurse in San Jose, California, saw the devastation and asked, what can I do to help? She had four months to sew and stuff, rallying friends and neighbors to help so that the Lahaina children would have Christmas stockings. Walk me through the timeline that gets you to the point where you have this idea. Every story that you told made me cry. Aww. And Aww. I kept... <laughs> This is what we call work party, work paina. 900 stockings in total making their way to Maui with Kukua, help from Southwest Airlines. To a school that I attended growing up here on Maui, Sacred Hearts. I got this same as you. Looking at those kids' faces. Every one of them said Merry Christmas. I just wanted to give them some hope that there was positivity out there and that there was a future and light ahead and so that was my goal, and I think I, I think I got there. <laughs> the financial support, the thoughtful efforts, the kokua for Maui as it heals. For all the help, Maui says, Mahalo! Mahalo! Our thanks to Becky Worley for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.